Welcome to Data Viz Daily. I'm Kevin McGinley, and I promised you in the last episode that we would move on from fantasy football data. Uh, fear not, we'll come back to it because it's uh, one of my favorite data sets. So if you love it too, uh, good news for you. Um, but let's move on. Let's upload a new file um, into Data Viz where I went to the city of Los Angeles's open data website and grabbed a listing of active businesses in Los Angeles. You can see here this is an Excel spreadsheet. It's about 66 megabytes in size. Uh, so if I go ahead and hit open here to upload this, ooh, we get an error message or a warning. Listing of active businesses is basically too big. They have a maximum file size of about 50 meg. Um, and this exceeds it. So we can't use the cloud version of data visualization. But fortunately, we have the desktop version of Oracle Data Visualization. This is running on a Windows VM. Um, so this is the desktop tool. And I've already gone ahead and loaded um, the spreadsheet into uh, Data Visualization Desktop as a data source. You can see here it's uh, you know about that 60, 65-ish megabytes. Um, and it gives us a little uh, indicator here down near the bottom of how much data we've used within our storage space. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, create a new VA project using this particular data source. You'll see here in the data visualization desktop, very similar to um, the cloud version uh, interface, very similar. Uh, they might be slightly different uh, because the desktop version sometimes gets features before the cloud version does. Um, but I'll go ahead and add that file uh, to the desktop. Now you notice here in my um, list of columns, I don't really have any measures. Um, so I'm going to come down here and create a calculation. And I am going to do a number of businesses. And I'm going to do a count of location account number. Validate that. Looks good. We'll save it. So that's a measure that we can now use. And just out of curiosity here, let's uh, see how many businesses we're dealing with. So let's just create a quick tile. Um, so we've got, wow, 517,654. Um, pretty fast uh, for uh, half a million rows. That's pretty nice. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, do something with this here. Let's look at how this breaks down um, by the uh, NAICS description, which is a categorization of businesses. Um, and I want to see this in a, let's do a tree map. And we can see here right out of the gate, if I size this a little bit better, um, that we've got this big block here where uh, the description field is null. And if I wanted to try to do a filter on this, um, you know, a regular filter, I wouldn't be able to. So I'm going to show you really quickly how I can do an expression filter uh, using the gear over here, where I can go ahead and take my uh, primary NAICS description, and I can just literally type in here is not null. So rather than doing a sort of standard uh, filter where I choose a value, since null isn't a value I can choose, I use this expression filter, hit apply, and now I'm going to get an update uh, within my tree map. Uh, that null goes away. You can see there's, you know, that was roughly, you know, 100,000 rows uh, almost that was uh, null. Uh, not quite, but uh, close. And uh, that's an example of how to use an expression filter within Data Visualization Desktop. Tune in for the next episode of Data Viz Daily. Thanks for watching.